Are you worried about the privacy of your data when you use ChatGPT? And you would like to have a completely safe space where you can talk and discuss really private things, but you don't know where to start? You're in the right place. Hello everyone, this is uh, Professor Rino from uh, New Zealand and today we are gonna have a deep dive to discover or to use software like ChatGPT right on your PC. So let's go and have a look what are the options out there. The best place to start and use AI chat on your own computer is uh, Olama. So I suggest you to Google it or you just type olama.com. You can see here on my desktop. Why is it so important? It's important because Olama is the place where you can download already made language model that have been uh, released in open uh, format. That means everyone can use it, install them on a uh, proper PC. And if you're curious to, to see your matches out there, you don't need to stop just here. We can go to Olama slash library. And you can see all the list of the beautiful models that have been released and they are available there for you to use. Of course, you might think, ah, I'm gonna go and start installing the most uh, big model. You can see here, for instance, for DeepSeek R1, it is one of the really powerful models with thinking property. We have the possibility to install the 671 billion parameter. Is it gonna run on your computer? Most likely not. And uh, you need always to install a model that suits your hardware. Or can you identify which one is the best? You need to consider two principles. The model can be run on uh, your CPU. In that case, it's gonna be loaded on your computer RAM. Or it's gonna be run on your GPU, the graphic card of your PC, where you basically run all the video games if you are a gamer. So now it's important to understand uh, how much RAM you have for your PC, how much RAM you have for your GPU. My advice is to find a model that is suitable for your graphic card. Why is that? Because if you run the model on your graphic card, it's gonna go 10 times faster. So it's most likely that you can install much bigger model on your uh, usual RAM and not on your dedicated RAM for the GPU, but it's gonna go really, really slowly. So advice by Professor Rino, check the specification of your graphic card. And once you have it, you can select among all these beautiful model, the one that can suit for your graphic card. So now you have discovered that for instance, you have a four gigabytes dedicated RAM for your GPU, your graphic card. Which model should I choose? Consider that every billion parameter will slightly require one gigabytes of RAM. So if you have four gigabytes of RAM, in that case, you will probably most likely be capable to run on your GPU something up to four or five billion parameters. So in this case, you will see if we install the seven billion parameter of DC, most likely it's not gonna be capable to be load on your graphic card. You can see here Gemma 3, which is one of, of the most popular model used Locally, you can have the option to install the 4 billion parameter on your PC. One of the approach that is probably too complicated and not really pleasant is to use your uh, command prompt on Windows or Mac. And if you're not familiar with it, it's a bit too geeky and sometimes it's not the best way to, to start. You can install Olama on your PC using the command prompt and here I'm gonna show you for instance the list of the model that are already installed and up and running. Let's try to for instance run Gemma 1 billion parameter on this command prompt. I'm gonna say Olama run Gemma 3 1 billion parameter. Pretty sure it's gonna run on my PC because I have 8 gigabytes dedicated RAM and you can see, ah, it's loaded already and it's asking me uh, to send a me message. And of course, I'm going to ask something about pizza. Tell me about pizza. And you can see it's going really, really fast and it's telling me all crazy things about pizza. I'm not even reading. It's not a pleasant experience. I don't really like to use prompts on uh, my... Uh, common prompts of Windows is pretty ugly. I would like to use a user interface. So, 
what are the options out there. I've already created a video for you to utilize another couple of options. The most popular that you might find online as a user interface for your uh, ChatGPT style chat, it will be LM Studio, and there is a video here that describes the property of LM Studio. And the other option is Page Assist, is another really nice tool that you can use. Today, I'm making this video because Olama has released a really easy, user-friendly interface that we can use. So let's go and have a look what is out there. So we are on the main page of Olama, and you can see here that last week we had this new feature. They finally give us a user interface where we can install our model without using the common prompts complicated, too geeky. I'm not really happy about it. So you can see here that there is the option for Mac OS. I haven't tried it because I don't own a Mac. And there is an option for Linux and Windows. Of course, I installed on my computer the Windows machine and it's pretty easy. You basically press download here. It's gonna install quickly the software on your PC without having too much of trouble. So now let's go and have a look how the software look like on our PC. This is how Olama user interface look like. You can see it's really plain, easy to understand. It looks like ChatGPT with the difference that here we have the option to install different models. You can see it's capable to recognize the model that have been already installed or you can click here. You can see that there is the download. You will have the possibility to download other models. So let's go and have a try with the 1 billion parameter Gemma and see if it's up and running on my computer. So I'm going to say hello. Tell me about Margherita Pizza. So you can see it's pretty fast and it's uh, that fast most likely because it was running on my GPU. In fact, you can see here the history of my GPU has been going really fast and you can also identify here the amount of RAM that has been allocated for this model. So now what I'm going to do is instead start a new chart and test if already capable to run 8 billion parameter on my PC. So let's ask again. Hello. Tell me about pineapple on pizza. I don't even know how to spell it. Pineapple on pizza. So let's go and have a look. So this is a thinking model. So it's most likely that it's going to start loading, first of all, the model. That's why it was there. And now the thinking is happening. You can see here my GPU had a spike. I'm almost reaching the limit of 8, bill of eight gigabytes. Here the thinking is going on and I can see still the graphic card Right here, it's going really, really fast. It's processing. That's why the model is so fast. So, it's saying probably good things about pineapple on pizza. And if you want to know all the best topping about your pizza, stay away from pineapple. And there is a nice video here that I made to show you how to make a beautiful margarita. So, let's see what are the settings that Olama allow us to change. Ah, we are. So where did I click? Let's go back. I went here in settings and you can see that you can create your own LAM account. I haven't created it. And you can see you have the possibility to change the context length of your model. What does it mean? So you need to keep in mind a simple principle. A model like ChatGPT has a two type of memory. The long-term memory is all the data the model has been trained on when it was created. You can change that unless you do some fine tuning. And it's a really complicated process that if you are just a beginner, you don't need to know. The second memory you have available in your model is the context left. It's basically all the data you can feed the model inside to get all the processing done. So assuming you want to answer on a really long text, you need to make sure that the context length of your model is capable to suit all this kind of data. 
how do you find all the information about context length of every model? You can just guess, you go to either Olama list and you go and see the property of the model. Let's go and have a try with DeepSeek. So we have R1 installed with 8 billion. I'm gonna click on it. The context length is here. The second column is telling us that we can have up to 120K or what? token. That's the currency, if you want my, of the language model. They always process token that are a set of characters. So we can have up to 128K context length in our model. So in that case, we can go here and make the change up to 128K, especially if you need to process a lot of information, your prompt is really long and you're feeding a lot of more text. So in conclusion, thank you Olama for giving us finally a user interface. Is it really flexible? Not that flexible. You can do basic things. At least you can start and have a play with the local language model. But if you want to go pro and you want to really use a flexible interface that is going to allow you to run local model, have rags and what is a rag? We are going to talk about it in the next video. So don't forget to press the subscribe button down there and you will be notified. We are gonna observe all together and learn together how to use an open web UI. That is my favorite tool where you can do a lot of more crazy things with your local LLM and create really customized and beautiful solution that, that it might help you for your work or your private life. Thank you for listening and be with me today and see you in the next video. Bye.